Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have 1 Corinthians 10 24. Nobody should seek his own good but the good of others. So, in other words, you know, do good for others and pay it forward. Uh, okay, sorry about that. Okay, so a lot going on. I've got some off the hook, some off the machine. Some other things going on the machine, oh, all the things. Um, so why am I like that? Well, so let's start with off the hook. Okay. Um, this is a little girl's headband, you know, and it's got browns and it's got the pop of the pink in there. Um, so I've made that. I have made this one which is a little bit bigger and it actually does oops fit my head so it's an adult can be an adult might even fit a teenager okay so i'm trying to make all different sizes all different kinds then i have this one it does fit it's an adult um small adult teen um and this one so this one and this one are real wool. Okay. This is a bat that I spun up that had those red and it was that artisan bat. It had reds and pinks and browns in it. Yeah. Um, so I spun that one up. I don't know a while back. You guys got to see it. This is um I had barber pulled some white and some brown that were two different breeds. And yeah, so and then this one is acrylic. Okay, lion's brand brown and then this stuff is I don't even know what you call this stuff it was given to me and I found that teenagers and young girls like the pink with the so yeah that's how I've used it up okay so I've made those I have two more of those on the hook um one blue acrylic and one like this uh I'm trying to get there's a reason behind my madness trying to get about 10 or 15 of each item that I'm about to show you together so that what I have made in the past that I just have sitting and I haven't sold or have, I keep thinking I'm going to get a shop online or whatever. I haven't done any of that. So I have this tote that has all that stuff in it. And I was asked by a friend to do a craft show. Now I have always just done wool shows. I don't sell finished product. We have samples of our finished products up there, but we don't sell really finished product. We always sold the wool. Um, well, now we sold soaps and that, which I'm not going to sell at this. I'm just doing sewing and crochet stuff. Okay. So, um, yeah. So I'm trying to do, and I'll have some that I'm going to, I have a plan. Okay, now whether it works out or not, I don't know. Give me just a second. Alright, so I've got the, we're going to talk real wool because I'm going to separate them. And I'm not going to have as many real wool as I will acrylic for the simple fact that, number one, it's going to be November. These, you know, normally sell around Christmas a lot, but the wool ones cost twice as much because I spin them, you know, so you've got the spinning that goes into it. So I went through my stash and I decided to just kind of use up whatever. And I have this that is real wool. And what I'm going to do is I am going to, I'm hoping this will make two and I'm going to dye them, um, my own colors. So, and I guess I have this one started too. I wanted to see what it looked like. So I have swatches on all of them and I don't cut off my swatches. So yeah, it is what it is. Um, but I wanted to get the right hook size. So I have, I'm hoping to get two out of this. If I don't, then so be it, you know. Um, I have this one and these I plan on dyeing myself. Okay, it's coming in loud. I'm not sure what the deal is here. Anyway, so I have that one, maybe two headbands that I'm going to do out of it. I've got these two headbands and I've got another one on the hook that looks just like this, only smaller size. 
Um, and then I have got this, and I haven't wound this. This is 240 yards, and it's got glitz and stuff in it. And it's, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got Angelina in it, and it's brown. It's got some alpaca and some wool. So those are going to be my uh, natural ones, okay? So I'm only going to make less than 10 real wool ones because they cost the materials plus my time. And, you know, it, the materials are twice as much. So they go for about 20 bucks a piece. Um, it is what it is. So I will be doing those and praying for the best. You know, the natural wools are mostly going to be browns and whites. I am going to dye some color into this. And then I have two of these just because that one bat made enough that I should be able to get two of these out of them. So I've got those done. Then for the acrylics, I've got that. And then, you know, I just made those ones for Ashley and their mom and all that. So I had bought this right here. So I'm going to make... Uh, mom and daughter set out of like the pink and the purple I hope and then just have some and these have glitter in them they're kind of showy and then I have this right here and this is just stuff from my stash I am not spending a lot of money on this I'm using up from my stash um, it's probably not the best way to do a craft booth but there will be stuff on the table and if somebody wants to buy it they can okay so I have this one that came with another project and I have a blue in this brundle pretty whatever and I'm going to make as many as these will make too because blue goes with blue jeans gray goes with a lot of colors um, a lot of neutrals and then a lot of girly so I've got all of those that I'm going to do okay just saying they're coming along they're getting there um I do have some shawls that I've made that you guys have already seen, but that um, I just didn't have anybody for, so I just held on to them, you know, figuring I'd give them away. Well, they're going to go in the booth too, that way I'll have them. All right, then I went through Stash and got some, and I did make a Joanne purchase, which we'll get to that. I'm not real happy with Joanne's right now. Um, you'll see why. Yeah. So I've made these little, a string on one. Oh my gosh. I thought I ripped all the strings and everything. Okay. So. Apparently I didn't. Cause there's another string. What am I doing here? There we go. I guess I sewed across it when I clipped it. I didn't get it off of it. Anyway, okay, so I made these lovelies right here. They open up, and inside they have a pocket here and a pocket here. They're perfect for cash, a driver's license, gift holders, gift cards, um, whatever. So I've made a couple of these, and I know the colors aren't coming out right. This is like mint green swirl with purple these two are um this one is just all purples yellows whatever this one is the same colors as that muted just in brick form and they have different colors on the inside some have dark some have light um they're just made you know they're gift card holders little wallets uh if you give younger people a gift card they tend to want something tangible with it you know so this one has a tan and it's that swirly you know so i've got i don't know a couple of these two four six seven eight nine ten eleven so i even have um i didn't i didn't have a lot in my stash for man okay so I did just this wicker looking one with black, which I think that looks a little bit more masculine. 
And then, of course, you know I had horsey stuff in my stash. So I have this one with the lighter colored. This one actually has a pink lining. So, yeah, maybe not a man thing for the horsey, but yeah. So I've got this one and this one. Um, Just different ones, okay? So I have these. And like I said, I've got some more fabric, fat quarters coming to make some small things to sell. Um, the problem is, is that I ordered it from Joann's. Now, Joann's was one, running. I had downloaded the app and I would look and put it in my cart and then I'd go into the store and I'd get it. I never had ordered anything. And then I used the stuff. The problem with Joann's is it's 30 minutes, 40 minutes away. So making a trip down there is like an all day thing. I don't know. I just won't go down there just for that. Um, so anyway, I, uh, decided I was going to, they had a dollar 99 shipping coupon in the app. And I thought, Oh, that's worth it. That is so worth it. So I get my cart loaded up and I've got all my fat quarters in there and my, uh, interfacing. And I was like, well, this is going to help my stash, you know? And I'll have enough to make little projects to give away the ones I'm making for the office. Right? It'll be perfect. So I get it in there. I apply my coupon and it said it was going to be $31.97. At this point, they have $158 pre-authorized in my bank account. Because their app wouldn't go through. And it ended up taking, uh, the first time it tried, apparently there really wasn't an issue because it took the money and pre-authorized it through my bank account. So there wasn't a problem with the card. So, um, they pre-authorized it for the $31.97 and the app said it didn't go through. Okay. Now I didn't know, I did not look at the bank account until the next morning. Okay. So I'm trying to do this. And the first time it said, oh, there was an error. I said, okay. So I tried it again. Oh, there was an error. Took four tries. Now here's the thing. I don't know at what point the order changed because I was on the shipping part and where you're filling out the cart. So yeah, I'm going to be pretty frank and honest with you. And I will never uh, order. From the app on Joann's again. Won't happen. Uh, and here's why. I'm going to be very frank. And so I'm making sure that you can't see anything. Okay. So there's no numbers. Okay. So here is all of the authorizations. And they're all Joann's. Okay. The first one that they tried to take was $31.97. The second one they tried to take was $31.97. The third one they tried to take was $37.28. Nothing should have changed, so I don't know where they got that number. The fourth one they tried to take was $46.98. Now, at that point, apparently it went through, and I got an email, and they charged me $46.98. They put the shipping and charge back on their full amount, $17. So I called them, and I said, you know, you'd you unapplied the coupon, which is not right. And, oh, we'll refund you the shipping. We'll make you happy. I said, okay, well, what about releasing the funds? Oh, well, we don't actually charge those. They'll fall off and uh, whenever your bank releases it when we don't claim the money. I said, okay. I work at a bank. I know how that works. I know. Hi, guys. Um, it's kind of a rainy day, so the dogs are having fun. So I know how that works in these. I'll, I'll refund you the money. I said, okay. And then you're only going to take the 3190, the 3197. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That that's all we'll take is the actual order. No seven. I said, okay. And he says, and we don't take any of it till it ships. So I wake up this morning and I check the bank account thinking, Hmm. So he is correct. The $17 did refund back into my account. But then they took $2.42, $2.42, $4.86. Yeah. We're talking they took another $9. All in pre-authorizations. 
So they haven't taken anything. So I can't contact the bank and say, hey, release this money. They're not going to take that. This is how much the order was, blah, blah, blah. Can't do that. It's just in my pending. And in three days, my bank will release it if they haven't claimed the money. So for a $31.97 order, I have over $150 tied up for the next week or so. Don't use the app because it shouldn't be tying up that much. If there's an error, it should not ask for a preauthorization from your bank. But theirs does. If the order isn't going to go through, there's no reason for all of those preauthorizations. What if I needed that money for bills? What if I needed that money for gas to get to and from work? And Joanne's isn't doing anything to fix it. Nothing. They say, oh, it's your, it's on your bank. No, it's on Joanne's because their app made a mistake. Their app has flaws. Their app didn't allow the coupon to stay on there. The app started changing my order when I didn't even realize it. I authorized $31.97. Over $150 is now pre-authorized for them in my bank account. And they just keep taking whatever they, they just keep sending pre-authorizations. They can, they can tie your money up that way indefinitely. You've authorized them. And until they take that $31.97, I have no recourse because they haven't taken anything out of my bank account. Don't use the apps like that. If you find out an app does that, absolutely don't because you have no recourse. I'm sitting here. I have, there's nothing I can do. I can't touch that 150. Okay. At all. Um, it's already extracted from my bank account. Okay. As far as the bank is concerned, it's pre-authorized and it doesn't even show in my balance. It shows in pending and it's already been removed from my balance. So I can't use it. Joanne's says there's nothing they can do to release it. This is the issue with apps. And when I find one that does this, I will never do. Now, I'm not saying Joanne hasn't done what they said and they did refund the $17. It showed up this morning. But then they took another $9. So really, what's the point? You know, that was only a $12 refund because now they've got another eight, $9 tied up in my bank account. Don't use apps like that because they're not doing anything illegal. That's the problem. They're not doing anything that you can retaliate against. You can't touch your money. You can't, the bank will tell you until it actually clears, they have not removed the money from your account. So they haven't done anything wrong. Now, if all of those clear the bank, I'm going to the bank and I'm filing a non-fraud dispute and I would make them put it all back. But guess what? Your money's tied up and you can't get to it. Don't use apps that over pre-authorize. Just say, okay. And some places have gotten, well, this is just the way. No, you have a way to pre-authorize. You know, if the money's there, you don't need to pre-authorize. You can pre-authorize for $50, just like the gas stations. Okay. If you go and you swipe your card, that gas station pre-authorizes or they, they've got the stickers that say we hold up to, you know, depending on your bank and blah, blah, blah. That's a pre-authorization. Do a pre-authorization, pump the gas and then release the pre-authorization all in the same transaction. If the gas station can do it, if Quick Trip, 7-Eleven, all them, Casey's can do it. Joann's should do it. Just saying. Um, retail has gotten to where they just think they've got a free for all. Once you swipe that debit, you know, in their app and, and you type it all in, they think free for all. They can go in and pre authorize how much ever, but we don't pre authorize till we ship. So what's with the $2, the $4, the no. One amount. I authorized $31.97. That's what I should see on my bank account coming out. Period. Just say it.
anyway, so I've done with my chant. I am not going to use the Joanna's app anymore. Um, I got my interfacing and my, my very expensive at this point interfacing <laughs> and some fat quarters so I can do other small projects, um, a little purses, wallets. Then I have done, I have this and it will make about eight wine bags or, you know, as we say, booze bags. It's a pretty good chunk. And I had used it. It's left over from another project, found it in my stash. And so I believe it will make eight, but it may only make seven. I've got to measure for the, um, quit playing in the shower, please. It's the dogs. They, they, I have no idea why they have started going to the shower and that's where they go. So I'm going to make, um, wine bottle gift bags for this. And I'm just going to make small drawstring or simple drawstring ones with ribbon for the tie. And I think I'm going to get some gold ribbon because those deer on there are gold. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to do some drawstring bags or no, some handled bags out of these. And I have got now, this is going to be kind of experimental. What did I do with it? What did I do with it? There it is. So, if you remember, I found this stuff on that wacky or wakey, whatever. There it is. Well, whack. Um, sewing. And this is fusible, flexible, uh, woven interfacing. And it was super cheap. Okay. And I found it on sale and I was like, this is amazing. I love this stuff. So I am going to line these with it. And then I'm going to use, let me see here, this side strip right here as the handles. So these are going to be like little over the shoulder bags. Um, and I've got this one. And, and I know that people make pillows out of these. I'm just looking for other things to do with them. They were gifted to me. And, you know, and I do have some black for some handles if, if the handles don't work out. And I've got some other colors um, because I've got this one. And I actually have somebody in mind for this one. <laughs> if, if this bag does not sell, I know who I'm going to give it to because it's got kitty cats. And kitty cats, it's the same. Um, one, I do have to turn it over right and I'm going to use the brown. I'm just going to fold over the white and have a white backed, um, handle for them. And they're going to be done with this flexible fusing and it makes it really thick and it makes it, um, it doesn't make it really thick, but you know what I mean? It's hardy, um, for lack of any other word. And then I've got, and that one and this one, these were all gifted to me. And so then I'm going to do a flowery looking quilt one. Um, it will have two different sides. So um, it'll have that one and that one, and it'll have flowery handles. And so I'm going to do these three and just see. Um, and that's, I know that sounds terrible that if they don't sell, I have people in mind or, you know, people that I can. Truth is, I don't know what will sell. Okay, I'm going to sew bags and uh, gift card holders, and I am going to crochet my headbands, and I've got some other things that I've crocheted that I've just thrown in that tote because I just did it because I wanted to, and I don't have anybody in mind for it. So, um, I do also have... Um, so one fat quarter will make three of those, um, things. And so I made one or two of each. I still have a couple and I'm probably going to make them all up. And I still have sunflower one that I need. And then, um, let's see, I've got some of those. Uh, I ran out of interfacing, which is on that Joanne's order. Just saying. You know, the fusible lightweight interfacing. So, yeah, I need to, I guess I'm just going to go to Hobby Lobby and get some. But I also have, and I don't know if I've got enough. I haven't sorted through. This I know I have enough of. And I am going to make gift card holders and a couple of 
the um, wine bags. Okay, so I know that I'll make those and they'll just be wine bottle gift bags. And I probably will sell these for like two bucks. They're not going to be really hard. Um, I don't know what I have left of this. I don't, it, it's just remnants at this point. So I don't know. I just grabbed my uh, sewing, my, uh, what do you call it? Christmas. So I've got that. I do have some red that I will do. I have this bag almost done, but I forgot to do the fold over. <laughs> so I've got to rip out and go. And it's just a little square bottom uh, drawstring bag, you know. So I've got to do that one. And it kind of looks westerny. It's got little horses um, tied up at the hitching post. And, you know, so this one I just have to. Got to do this so that I could put the ribbon in it. I don't know. <laughs> Guess I got in a hurry. So I've got to fix this one. And then I also have this, which I will make some gift card holders and some uh, gift bags out of. And I might make different size gift bags. I don't know. Um, so I do. That way I will have some Christmas stuff. But yeah, it, it is what it is. So I'm going to do all of that. And then I'm going to have my crochet head stuff. And then I am also going to crochet some uh, messy bun hats. Okay. So you'll start to see these things over the course of the next couple of weeks. The first weekend in November is when the Christmas craft show is. So um, I'm working on it. I still. The only thing I have left to do is I've got to get, um, I have a set of matching pajamas. I have to get the arms on one set and then I've got to get it all hemmed and those are done. I've got RJ's large quilt. I've got the two shams done, but I've got, I think I'm on the 10th row. So here's the deal. Um, I am taking off October 13th. No, 12th, 13th, and 14th. The 14th, I don't work. It's a Saturday. But RJ has made the PRCA final. So that's the first step to the NFR. Um, this is the first time he's ever made that circuit finals. He's really excited. We are going to Duncan, Oklahoma. I'm taking off from work. Um, I'm not going every day. But the days that I'm not down there, I can watch him on the Cowboy Channel. Okay, so... Um, it is a good thing. So I'm taking off those days. And if I don't use any of those days, if I'm not gone all those days, I will be sewing. Okay. I have till November. And once the show is over in November, I have that month to get the quilt done. But I, I do actually have a plan because November, I want to say it's the fifth or something. It's on a Sunday. Um, I am taking off October 12th, 13th, right in there, but I should be gone. So if I'm not gone and something changes, I'm still here. I will be sewing those days. Then I took off October 30th and 31st and the 31st, I have dates with Ashley and Tiffany. Um, we're all going skating and then we're going to lunch and we're just having a girl's day. That's on a Tuesday, but that weekend, that Monday and stuff, I'm here. And it's right before the crash show, so I should be finishing up stuff. Um, then, yeah. I also took off December 2nd. It was the first Friday. And so I took it off. And then I took off the Monday and Tuesday after that. So I can finish all Christmas. Um, so this is September 20th. And on November 5th is the craft show. And then I took off. Oh, it's December 1st. And then the 4th and the 5th. So yeah, that's, I'm taking off those days. So I can finish up um, all of Christmas. And basically it means that quilt. Make sure that, that quilt is done. And make sure that Tori's is 
fixed and you know whatever whatever she can't fix I'm gonna I'm gonna make her put a little work into it but hey it is what it is so and she finished her shorts um they are wearable she didn't allow for the seam allowance so they were a little bit tight um I tried to tell her to go you know outside and leave quite a bit and she you know leave a little extra put them on so but they are wearable she got one seam backwards she had to rip it out and redo it the picture she showed me had it in there and she's like look at this seam and i was like eh. she said that um she kept having to sew it together and take it apart because it wasn't the right seams and she got it backwards i said that's what you're supposed to pin it for i said pin it all together and and she's like oh, i didn't think of that i said why do you think i give you the pins yeah she just she'll get it she'll get it it was her first sewing project number one it's wearable number two not great but it makes good pajamas you know the rules if it doesn't if it's not fit for the outside world it's definitely good enough to sleep in so anyway all right so i've got a plan i am doing a craft show we'll see how things come along um i'm trying not to stress too much about it so i do have a couple of things to try and do and i've got some other bigger bags you guys saw me make the bags um before that I think I made like three of them. I didn't really have a reason for it. I threw it in a tote and I thought, well, I'll put it on the website. I'll get a website up, a little Etsy shop and all that. And I just haven't. So those are the things that are going to be for sale at the craft store or at the craft show. So anyway, all right, I'm off of here. I've got to go get ready for work. I can't go on my t-shirt, um, but just look for these updates as we go each week because I'm going to be pushing to get the, a lot of the little stuff done and then worry about the big stuff. So, um, right now I have enough of these. Yes. I want to make some more. Um, I want to make the gift bags. I will make, I'll probably make all the gift bags in one day. Uh, I'll probably do them on the searcher just cause it's easier. And then I want to get all the head things done cause I definitely want to have those. Um, so if gift bags don't get done or whatever, that's fine. But I think I've allotted enough time that I can get everything done. So that is our week. Um, I'll keep you posted on how everything goes. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.